the Mortgage Minute today being brought to you by our friends at Geneva Financial. When you're ready for that next home loan, Geneva's got the programs and the products. You just need to make the call, 800-306-1990, 800-306-1990. Every day at this time, OBMMI. They provide the most comprehensive, accurate, timely, and interactive analysis of pricing ever conducted in the mortgage industry, calculated from actual locked rates with consumers across 35% of all mortgage transactions nationwide. They do not tell us points paid, points received, or the APR. They tell us the number we need to put in the mortgage calculator to get our principal and interest payment. If you don't have a mortgage calculator, we have one as part of our mobile app. You can get our mobile app. It's good on Android or iOS. Like I said, I just heard that. What is it, Android? They're not going to have that anymore. It's got to go to Google something or another. Uh, uh, I'm old. I don't know those things, but I just heard that one yesterday that uh, the the Android messaging is now going to be Google messaging or something. I, why am I, why are we even talking about this in the mortgage minute? Ronismylender.com. Ronismylender.com is where you can get that mobile app. Hey, let's see what mortgage rates did yesterday. The 30-year conventional up 6.556. 30-year jumbo down. Wow. 6.763. FHA was up 6.175. VA, 30-year fixed up 6.075. USDA, that was up 6.232. If you want our thoughts on where the market is heading, we put that out every business day as early as the data allows you can get that rsrlinks.com slash market minute rsrlinks.com slash market minute let's take a look and see what the markets are doing today because we need to tell you why the markets why are you seeing what you're seeing and it has not been a very pretty sight recently so the Dow Jones Industrial Average, Dow Jones Industrial Average, we look at that one all the time. It is a, a very common proxy for the markets. I'm sorry, we're going to use the S&P 500. That's a bigger number, bigger uh, sampling. Down 1506 right now. It's down 1506. And just as we're chatting right now, I will tell you that our private clients are getting a message to lock their loans but why the 10 year treasury is up another two basis points the mortgage backed security is down 12 basis points when that bond the security goes down that means rates are going up but they've been going up a lot lately and we're going to continue to watch that go up there's not a whole lot of a catalyst to, to hold them down anywhere but we're going to continue watching that. Global bond yields have been moving sharply higher. There's not been any one key driver. There's been some stronger jobs data in the U.S. China's been extremely stimulative to their economy. Some investors may be pricing in less rate cuts than previously thought. And there are talks that the bond market is pricing in a potential Trump victory, all of which are pressuring bond yields higher. We heard from four key Fed members yesterday, Kansas City Fed President Jeffrey Schmidt, Dallas Fed President Lori Logan, Minneapolis Fed President Neil Kashkari, and San Francisco Fed President Mary Daly. The overarching theme is that none of them seem deterred from continuing to reduce the Fed funds rate, albeit at a more gradual pace. The Fed futures is still pricing in a quarter of a point cut on November 7th and another quarter cut on December 18th. Since the Fed has cut rates 50 basis points on September 18th, 30-year mortgage rates have gone up by almost uh, three-quarters of a point. This can be a difficult thing to tell everybody because most people think that when the Fed cuts rates, the mortgage rates go down. It is not the case. The Fed funds rate is an overnight rate that banks used to lend to one another essentially an ultra short term rate when the fed cuts certain rates are directly impacted money market accounts short term treasuries credit credit cards car loans personal loans small business loans just to name a few but long term rates can be directly can can be indirectly impacted for instance many investors took advantage of 5% money market investments instead of keeping money in cash 
But when the Fed cuts, those rates are immediately impacted. Some investors may begin to buy duration or protection in the bond market, meaning instead of getting 4.5% in a money market account, that will continue to move lower as the Fed cuts rates. They could buy 10-year treasuries yielding 4.18%, while the return is slightly less currently. It's guaranteed for the next 10 years. And we know the Fed is expected to cut another 1.5% over the next year, which will cause money market accounts to move even lower. If this occurs, the increase in demand for 10-year treasuries will cause the yield to move lower. Additionally, the main driver of mortgage rates will be inflation and the job market. The Fed is cutting rates for a reason. They see weakness in the economy. Inflation has been moderating, and with shelters showing signs of catching up, we should continue to see inflation slowly move to target. The job market was showing weakness until the September 18th, uh, the September 18 BLS jobs report. However, the seasonal adjustments were a bit wonky, and we still feel there is underlying weakness. If the Fed continues to cut, inflation continues to fall, and labor market weakens over time, we should see mortgage rates move lower in the coming six months. But the Fed is not cutting mortgage rates. The leading economic index, uh, while there have been some economic reports showing strength, the conference board's leading economic index continues to show weakness. LEI declined a half a percent in September following a three-tenths of a percent decline in August over the six-month period between March and September. The LEI fell by 2.6%. Wow. It's an acceleration from the 2.2% decline over the previous six-month period of September 2023 to March of 2024. This report has been negative 29 out of 30 months, with the other month being flat. Their trend is now once again signaling a recession, although their commentary sounded like they expect slower growth. The conference board said overall the LEI continued to signal uncertainty for economic activity ahead of and is consistent with the conference board expectation for moderate growth at the close of 2024 and into 2025. That's the Mortgage Minute brought to you by our friends at Geneva Financial. When you're ready for that next home loan, Geneva's got the programs and the products. You just need to make the call, 800-306-1990, 800-306-1990.